Hello you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a minute since I've done a video, but as promised, I said I was going to do a video about starting YouTube, so here we are. Let's not waste any time and let's just get into it. If you're starting out on your YouTube platform, all you need is your iPhone, all you need is your phone, whatever phone you have, it doesn't even matter because, listen, you paid 800 or or 1000 for this phone, <laughs> It better work like a camera so this is just fine you don't need a camera at all unless you want to do it. if you want to do it go ahead but um if you buy a camera and then you find out you know YouTube's not really a thing the camera might have been a waste of money and so with that being said all you need is to find a nice little surface or whatever and just set the phone down and if you want to get a tripod great that can help so you can you know maneuver it and move it around it helps it's not that expensive there's actually some very affordable tripods on amazon so you, know, you can check those out check out my amazon i have some tripods linked down below now maybe you guys know this or maybe you don't so here i am to inform you because i didn't know at first so when you start your channel and you're recording videos it has to be sideways because that's how it's going to come out on the video if you knew this great me i'm dumb I'm dumb. So sometimes I would forget and then the whole video would be like this. Yeah, no, you don't want that. You don't want that. So yeah, it has to be sideways. So um, right now I'm on my iPhone. I just wanted to show y'all one of the examples where when you're on video mode, you can actually hold this down and it says, when it says AE lock, you can adjust it when you move your thumb and you can move it up and down and adjust the lighting. And you can start your video like that. But if you touch it, this is the key. If you touch it, touch it anywhere, it will go away. So once you have that set, you know, don't don't touch anything else but the video button. And then you have that on lock. Until you, you know, stop the video again and so forth. You had to do that every time. But I honestly, I wish I would have known this. Because look, as you you can move anywhere in the room and it will still stay in that lock, in that lighting lock. And that's, I think that's pretty good to know. As you start your YouTube channel, have in mind and maybe think about what you want to be talking in your YouTube channel, what you want to be talking about, what you want to be doing. And then maybe your first uh, video on YouTube could be the intro and saying, introducing yourself and what you will be doing. Just let your audience know what they're going to be seeing, you know? When starting your channel, try to be as consistent as possible with the videos. So, you know, your first video is the intro. And then, if you want, you can write down ideas of what you want in the next video and stuff like that. So, just keep it consistent so you can draw more attention to people. And put tags um, on the video when you're going to publish it. I'll show you guys more in depth what I mean by tags on my computer later. That. So, another tip I have with music you know if you want to have background music it has to be no copyright music it can't be drake or Nicki minaj it can't be any of that and you know as youtube keeps going forward they keep making it harder and harder and will delete your video for i think for just like 10 seconds of a Nicki minaj clip like you can't get away with anything so that's why i don't even know how people get away with doing a playlist so you can search um, no copyright music on YouTube or you can go to an actual website and search that up too and then download the music um, with the mp3 file and I will show you guys an example. Alright you guys, so for the no copyright music, all you need to go is go to YouTube and search up no copyright music as you see, I've typed it up there. And there's different channels that you guys can choose from. I'm subscribed to the no copyright sound so you guys can see this one. And, you know, just check out their music and whatever you like. All you have to do, you know, is click one. I'm so sorry. And, of course, they're going to hit me with the ads. Ugh, 20, 20 ads. Like, bro, calm down. All you're going to do is click that share button and copy the link. And if you know a faster way, that's cool. But this is just my way of doing it. And then go to documents. This, this is already set up for me, so I don't even have to type it up. But all you got to do is type up. That link that you see on the top right there the mp3 could be any any convert converter it doesn't have to be this one specifically and all you gotta do is paste it it's gonna convert it and it tells you the name of the song too just in case you weren't sure 
and then you gotta click download and then so forth you can click done and it will save and then that's how you save your music another tip i have is if you want to shorten links under your description of the video all you have to do is go to bitly.com i will link it down below and i will actually go on there and show you guys how it works let's say i'm trying to get the link for Sephora and shorten this link so all you need to do is copy it go to the bitly.com website copy that link you just used and boom look at it down there it's shorter and all you need to do is copy that one and yeah it just makes it simple for you and you don't have to have those big long links and it just kind of looks unprofessional so if you want to make it look more professional bibli is the one for you so whenever you make a video there is always a thumbnail and if you don't make your own thumbnail you know youtube will do that for you and it'll just make it but most YouTubers, they have a thumbnail for every video. If you don't know what a thumbnail is, let me just show you what a thumbnail is. Just, just in case. I mean, you can never be too careful. It's okay. Knowledge is power. So this is a thumbnail, basically. I hate when they start in... That's a thumbnail. You know, basically just whatever they put before you click the video. And that entices people to watch a video. Because if I see, I don't know, something, it could be something flashy and it will draw my attention, you know. So sometimes... Thumbnails can be inviting and sometimes they're not. So when making your thumbnail, try to make it unique, creative, poppy, colorful. And the thumbnail size, because you actually have to have a, a size for it to fit for YouTube. It's um, 1,280 by 720. And you know, if you ever forget, you can just look it up on Google and it'll show you. And if you're starting and you want to make sure it fits exactly, you can use the apps that I like to use. I like to use Fonto. Fonto right there. Fonto, I'm sorry, it's blurry because it's not focused on the uh, phone. But Fonto is great for that. So we're on the app Fonto. Let me just show you guys again what it is, Fonto. We're going to use a plain image. And on top of here, it tells you the um size and you're just going to click customize i mean you can scroll here but you know we already know the numbers so it was 1 2 80 by 720 pretty sure and then we're going to click use and then you know that's your basis quote quote for a thumbnail if you don't want to use Fonto, there's other apps that are thumbnails. Like I have one that's for thumbnails. It says thumbnail maker, but not everything in there is free. So if you want anything classier or nicer than that, you're going to have to pay some money. And it may be worth it to you, so think about it. Or PicMonkey. I've heard good things about PicMonkey. So yeah, think about those factors. I think sometimes YouTubers focus too much on making their channel look pretty and they don't really care about the content. Don't focus too much on the on when you get into your channel what it looks like because I don't think people really care. They just care the content. They care more about the content than what they see. I mean some people may care but I'm I'm more than just looks of channel. I gotta like the channel. It has to be funny. Some there's two apps that you can use to edit your videos. One of them is free and the other one is really expensive. The first one that's free is iMovie. Now, I don't have it downloaded on my phone, but let me just search it up. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about iMovie. And honestly, I think it works pretty well for it being free. I think it does its job. So there's iMovie. The second app you can use is Final Cut Pro. And I was gonna tell you guys it was 199, but I was wrong. It's $300. Oh. So, you know, this is like the camera situation. You really got to think about, do you want to do this for a long time? Is it worth your coin? Things like that. But I honestly don't see anything wrong with uh, iMovie. But with Final Cut Pro, obviously for $300, you can get access to more things. You can adjust the video quality, the sound quality. You can adjust, I'm not even going to get into that, but you can just adjust much more. So, you know, that's something you may want to think about. Now, when I was first starting my YouTube channel, I thought that um, once you hit a 1,000 followers, you would get paid instantly, no matter what, but I was wrong. These are the rules for getting monetized. 
You have to live in a country or region where the YouTuber Partner Program is available. So, you know, if you're there in the United States, you're, you're fine. Have more than 4,000 valid public watch hours in the last 12 months. Now, that doesn't mean you watching yourself every night. I don't know. And then have more than 1,000 subscribers. So, those, some, those are some things to keep in mind. Now, if you're doing this just for the money, great. But I personally like doing YouTube videos for fun. And then in the future, I can look back at them and just be like, wow, I sounded like this. I look like this. My maturity level. You know, stuff like that. I like to do it for fun. I think it's best recommended to do it just for fun than for the money. But of course, of course, we all want the money. Let's not lie here and say we don't want it for the money too. But here are some facts. If if you think that YouTubers get paid a lot, that's because you know they build a platform, they have a lot of viewers. You're probably not gonna get paid that much at the beginning. And I don't want you to be discouraged because of that. And if you don't get a lot of views, I don't want you to be discouraged because of that either. I don't think you should honestly, I don't think you should care about the views. Like yes, care to a certain extent, but it's like it's not gonna make or break me, you know? You know, it is it is what it is. You know, success doesn't happen overnight, so keep that in mind. If you're not strong-headed and you don't think you got this and you're going to be discouraged by negative comments because, you know, eventually as your channel gets bigger, you get more followers and more attention. So people, obviously, there's going to be positive feedback and negative feedback. This is the world we live in. So if you're not down for that, I don't think you should do it. If you if you don't take criticism well, I don't think you should do it because it's, it's whatever. <laughs> It's whatever. I'm not going to get into that because that's a whole different argument, but it's whatever. So here are the facts and the rates. The actual rates an advertiser pays varies, usually between $0.10 cents to $0.30 cents per view, but average out at 18 per view. Now, that may be a lot to some, low to some. I'm just sharing out the facts. When publishing a video, remember to use tags that are different and unique don't make it like everybody else so youtuber you know i don't know make it unique and different i don't know put goofy as a tag i don't know something that is different and stands out use keywords that help the video pop up when someone searches a keyword your video may come up and so forth you know so keep that in mind as well as the title for the video oh that's actually very important you want to you want to have like a crazy title don't do clickbait. I mean, you can if you want to if you're that person, but honestly, clickbait is annoying. It's so annoying. But, I mean, if you want to get views for that, go ahead. But you're just going to make your followers mad. I mean, I don't know. Maybe some people like that, but I, I, sure, I, sure, I sure don't. I don't like that. Um, you know, just make videos that are going to get searched up, unique, different, and not just basic like everybody else's. And I'm to blame for that too, because if you look at my my um, video titles, I feel like they're basic, and I gotta lash out more and come up with different ideas and stuff. But you know, I'm working on myself. So I'm on my computer, and I'm going to show you what I mean by tags. So as you publish your video, there's gonna be a section here that's gonna show tags, and yes, there is a limit. And so all you have to do is tag whatever is related to your video, or you don't have to at all. Honestly, you can put whatever. Whatever you can search up the algorithm of YouTube and see what's popping and just put that on there. Let's say we just put clothes. And obviously my videos about ASMR has nothing to do with clothes, but you can do that. There's no restrictions here. You can put whatever and all you have to do is click enter and so forth. And what the tags do is, you know, if someone searches something up in the search engine, it will help them and it may lead them to your video. If you want to start a new trend on YouTube, go ahead and do it. Don't, if you don't want to do what everybody else on YouTube is doing, you don't have to, because you can be that person that put out that new trend. And that makes you really cool. That's dope. If you do want to get some cameras, there's two cameras that I always hear about and that a lot of YouTubers use. And I actually bought one of them. I bought the Canon EOS M50. I will link it down below if you guys want to check it out on Amazon. Wait, not on Amazon. Another link. I'll show you guys. Or the Canon G7 Mark II. I'll leave, leave that link down below too. If you guys want to know. Those are two good cameras. And for those cameras, you know, they're good for vlogging. 
and for pictures you guys can uh, search it up and do your research and see if you like those cameras if you want to get a different camera it's whatever is up to you those are just the two that I always come to my mind and I always hear about As lastly I forgot to mention another detail that a lot of people forget to mention for you to get paid for your video the video itself has to be 10 minutes or more for you to be able to put ads on it or get paid from what I understand and correct me if I'm wrong so keep that in mind your video has to be 10 minutes or longer that is why some youtubers will make I don't know let's say a six minute video and the rest of the video will just be a dark screen until 10 minutes because they're smart and they want to get that money so keep that in mind if you want to get paid for your video once that's set so that is it for this video i hope this helped and it kind of cleared any information that you had about youtube and if i missed anything which i'm sure i did you guys can leave it down below and i'll try to answer more questions but this is just the basics i didn't want to get too in depth with it you know if you guys want to collaborate with me a collab why did i say so weird <laughs> If you guys want to do a video with me, all you got to do is hit my DMs, let me know, and we'll try to work something out. Alright, you guys, until next time.